Rude would like to be outside because he, he felt more at ease outside. That's just where he had his most fun at, was when he was either just walking with grit or either pheasant hunting, duck hunting, whatever kind of hunting it was, it was all outside. Kalen, he is, well, he was my high school sweetheart. First time Kaylin and I met, we were actually in shop class. He's making a dog box to go hunting in, <laughs> and he couldn't get it right, so he had me help him. And that's pretty much how our relationship started. With Rude, I liked how tall he was and just how weird he could be with me. Rude is very adventurous and spontaneous. I don't know, he was just rude. <laughs> we found out that it was right before Halloween. Rudy was just scared at first. And then once we had our first actual ultrasound where you could see that it was an actual baby and not just a round little dot on the screen, he was very excited. When we found out he was a boy, he was like, well, now I can take him hunting and yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, that's fine. And I was like, he's gonna be in sports too. He's like, no, he's not. Hunting's more important than sports. I was like, whatever. <laughs> Rudy and I had talked about um, whether we were going to be donors or not when we went and had his license renewed. When LifeSource had asked us about it, I just figured might as well donate what we can because it's better to have somebody else have it than it not be usable. The night before when I got the call that I was going to be going to Sioux Falls to talk to Lily about the face transplant opportunity, I got a little background on, on the family and, and you know who, who I was going to talk to. We had a huge discussion about it where his family did not want to do the organ donation. And while well, he had already chosen for himself, and I was like, this is how it's going to be. This is what's going to happen. He's already chosen. It's done. I just couldn't believe that I was going to talk to a 19-year-old, eight-month pregnant, newlywed young woman. LifeSource had come to me saying that we had a once-in-a-lifetime chance to help this person that really needed it, that Rude matched up with him 100%, where he wouldn't need any help with anything, and that this was his only chance to get it, and this was his big specialty graft. We were just talking, and, she's, and I said, so what do you think about that, that specialty graft we talked about? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. And, like, it was like... Of course I do. Um, and it was, I was so, not surprised, because she really, when we were talking about donation in the beginning, she was so beautifully embraced what an amazing gift that was that I'm not surprised she said yes. But the way she was just like, oh yeah, let's do that. The reason I decided to go ahead and go through with it was so that I can later down the road show Leonard what his dad had done to help somebody and I see a lot of Rude in Leonard that makes me really happy he's got Rude's personality when I talk to him he just he looks at me he looks so intrigued in what I'm saying and that's how Rude would be too and it's just nice it got to help countless number of people which is one person helping all these people that made me feel good about letting him know who, who his dad was through all of the recipients. 